the retirement budget option. However, you don't have to be retired to enjoy the day trips, no cost to low cost series. After living in Puerto Vallarta for over five years, I decided to share all of my day trips near and around PV. For me, retirement is all about becoming a digital nomad and traveling around the world slowly on a budget. More on that in an upcoming video. Today's day trip can either be half a day or a full day, depending on how fast you move walking the Malacan in Puerto Vallarta. The Malacan is something like a board walk and is located parallel to the sea. So on one side you have a you have great shops, restaurants, tequila shops, unique boutiques, jewelry shops, entertainment, and fast food options. On the other side, except for a few restaurants, you have the Bay of Bandera the beach, a wonderful art show of statues and collected art pieces that you will surely want to take pictures of. I want you to get a strong understanding of what you will experience day or night on the Melacon. If you choose to go at night, you will experience the nightlife and the open air nightclubs with loud dancing music. The boardwalk is full of life, people, some dating, some hanging around, some trying to find a date, and others trying to move quickly past the nightlife or the night scene. Either way, you can enjoy the restaurants and look at the stars in the sky and shop for those special gifts for people back home. I warn you, if one or two ships are in town, cruise ships, the Melacon will be extremely busy and you could, could end up waiting for one hour for a table at most or any of the restaurants. There is a McDonald's at the far end or the beginning of the Melacon, depending on how you look at it. The line there can get really long during the day or the night. Now, each cruise ship represents a million plus US dollars when in town. Tourists spend lots and lots of cash in Puerto Vallarta. So if you live there, check the schedule online, the cruise line schedule, and make your day trips on days when cruise ships are not in town. Of course, if you miss being in the United States or you miss being around a lot of Americans, then visit the Melacon on a day when the ships are in town. You can meet dozens and dozens of Americans and Europeans who fly into California and take cruises to Mexico. Now, this was before the pandemic. The cruise ships usually leave around 8 p.m. or earlier. The entire time I have been talking, there have been images, videos of the Melacon. The famous church that you see in so many pictures of PB is across the street from the Melacon. You will walk right past a Starbucks before you reach the church. This is the town square, and you may want to spend a few moments in the square or visiting Starbucks before exploring the church of Our Lady of Guadalupe that is in the center of the town square. Now, this church was built between 1930 and 1940. Depending on when you are visiting Puerto Vallarta, you want to wear a hat and keep a water bottle in your purse or backpack. Puerto Vallarta is a safe city and the crime rate is low, yet you still want to carry your belongings in a backpack or something that fits around your arm and cannot easily be reached by others in crowded places. Pickpocketers operate 
all around the world, especially in high tourist destinations. Wearing flip-flops is acceptable in Mexico for men and women. In fact, for almost five years, I never wore shoes except for when I made my visa runs to the United States to satisfy my six-month visa requirements. Respecting the culture and the laws of the country you are staying in or visiting, either long-term or short-term, is a good idea. It starts with something as simple as obeying the traffic lights and maintaining that attitude in your day-to-day -day life. The Mexican police are not exactly someone you want to have to interact with. Oh, they are good people and extremely handsome, some of them. But sometimes they become the jewelry and the judge and deal out the cost for the crime you committed. You pay on the spot. The good news is, for many, recreational marijuana is now legal in Mexico. So a lot more people are not going to jail. If you are walking among a crowd of people and they suddenly disappear off the street, you do the same. In Mexico, when in public, it is not about what other Americans do. It is about what the local people do. If they eat at a street food cart, you can too. It's more than likely safe. In fact, that is how I ended up in Alcapulco. The local people were visiting Acapulco for vacation, but not the Americans. The Canadians were closed mouthed about the whole Acapulco situation. These same local people would agree with Americans when they began talking about how dangerous Acapulco was. I didn't understand this double standard, especially when I knew thousands of Mexicans were catching buses to Acapulco from Mexico City each week. So I did too. More on that in an upcoming video. You must pay to use the public restrooms and if there is a human taking the money then usually you can count on the restroom being clean and safe. You pay the human and he or she will give you tissue paper and a paper towel. I tip the bathroom personnel. It's my way of saying thank you for allowing me to be in your beautiful country. Yes, the cost of living is so cheap here in Mexico that tipping is not a problem, even with a lower retirement income. I have two more important tips for you. First of all, when swimming at the beach, just because the water is a bay and not the ocean, doesn't mean that you should treat it like a swimming pool. Puerto Vallada has a couple of serious riptides, and people have drowned in these riptides. This is a matter of safety. If you don't know what a riptide is, then for sure you should not be swimming in the Bay of Banderas. Now, for those of you who want to travel within Mexico, it is cheap, cheap, cheap. You can opt for luxury buses that have Wi-Fi, movies, and restrooms on board. Or you can fly the economy airlines. It's it for a free half-day or full-day trip on the Melacon in Puerto Vallada. Be safe. Be sure to acquire travel and medical insurance that will cover all phases of your travels. Little nomads around the world use this insurance mostly because of the great customer service and the affordable rates.